you are all representatives of fantastic projects. We thought every single one of you was just what we really wanted. Our transportation program goes to nine different schools to pick up children to receive after school care at our main clubhouse on Baggett Street. Last year, this transportation program served 4,296 riders. And this year, we're happy to say that both um, routes are overfilled. And so that's a great problem for us to have. And it's been very beneficial getting members into our clubhouse. We received a $1,000 grant from Union Gas as part of their Centennial Grants program earlier this year uh, towards creating a, cycling, a safe cycling video focused specifically on Kingston and Kingston area issues. And uh, we were pleased to be able to leverage that and approach the Community Foundation to receive a grant of $2,000 so we can make that uh, even bigger and better and really use it to help us in our educational programs to encourage safe cycling and encourage cycling in Kingston. Thank you. Hi. Um, uh, we um, want to thank the uh, Grants Committee and uh, the Community Foundation for allowing us to uh, for the first time ever have a resource room for the women and children at the shelter. Um, this is going to allow women to do housing searches, job searches, create resumes, um, and also for the children um, and teenagers that frequent our shelter to be able to use computers, printers. We're currently in the process of constructing a new theater at 52 Church Street, which will be fully accessible. And that's the, uh, uh, the old uh, arena on Church Street. The, uh, we're really pleased to receive the grant to purchase a hearing, hard of hearing system, which will allow those who are deafened or hard of hearing to enhance the quality of live performances at the Domino. And this is one of the accessibility features that uh, will be uh, offered within the, uh, the new theater. Diversity Works event brings internationally educated professionals and the business community together. I'm happy to report that uh, this event at this moment in time, we have about 40 employers who will be there and I think well over 100 internationally educated professionals who will be taking place in the event. So thank you very much and anyone who can attend is welcome to attend tomorrow. Thank you. One of our more popular programs are is our community kitchen program, which uh, Richard is a participant in. And uh, he's gonna tell us what exactly we're gonna use that money for. Well, there's <coughs> uh, food supplies and so on, and Tesla, and, and well, everybody does show up. They're, they kind of object at first, but they all walk <laughs> away with something to eat and, <laughs> and happy. <laughs> so. so again, we would yeah. just like to thank you on behalf of Home Base Housing. The project that we've been funded for is called The Swim Guide. Um, we're here to promote and protect the 32 public beaches in the Kingston area um, for the 150,000 people and provide them daily updates on the safety of the beaches, directions to get to the beach, and where they can access the beach and speak to their friends and their community about the beach through the website, through an application for iPhones, and for an Android for smartphones. And we're honored to be here. We're honored to be part of this really um, special group of people receiving money from the Community Foundation, and thank you very much. Waterborne Diseases is a program which is designed for elementary and secondary school students for them to understand the significance of the importance of clean water and good sanitation.